This video is brought to you by Factory Direct Trains. Visit FactoryDirectTrains.com and check out their wide selection of model railroading products and supplies. Hey everybody, it's Jimmy from the DIY and Digital and welcome to my new railroad. Welcome back everybody. First of all, if you haven't already, go and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that bell icon so that you don't miss any updates and so that you're eligible for the 5,000 subscriber contest sponsored by Factory Direct Trains. Now they were nice enough to give me not one, but two locomotives to give away, a Broadway Limited T1 in N scale in the Pennsylvania Railroad paint scheme and an HO scale Athern GE-9 in the Union Pacific Chicago Northwestern paint scheme. So you have to subscribe to be eligible. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit that like button and hit that bell icon so that you don't miss any updates, including when that giveaway happens. So today we are starting on the brand new DIY and digital railroad, the DDRR 2.0. Now, as many of you know, I've moved into a new house and that means that I needed to build a new railroad because my old railroad would not fit. Now, last week you saw me stripping that old layout for parts which is something I could do because I use Kato Unitrack. So this week we're going to officially start and let me start by introducing you to the bench work. The bench work is comprised of one by threes and one by fours and is put together with a combination of finishing nails and screws. It's got a plywood base shelf and it's going to have a plywood Luan top for the foam base of the layout to sit on. Now you may be wondering yourself, Jimmy, why didn't you show us you building this? It's actually because I didn't build this. My father caught the bug of model railroading when I started my own YouTube channel, but him and my mother's life got fairly busy and they just don't have time to build a railroad, but he had built the bench work. And as I was coming here and I was getting ready to design a new railroad, he said, I've got all that bench work up in my house. Do you want me to bring it down and do you want to use it? And naturally, I said yes. Now, right now, I don't have that base on there because what we're doing today is we're doing the base wiring for the layout. And you know what that means. It's time to get drilling. Okay, so we've drilled six holes in total just for various wires to run through. I've got three on each one of these center boards. Now, I'm not necessarily gonna be putting wires through all three of these today, but I kinda wanna future-proof my layout because I don't wanna have to drill after I built everything because that can shake a lot of things apart. So let's go ahead and get to the wiring phase. I'm using 16 gauge stranded wire for my DCC bus line. I run the first line around the exterior holes that I just drilled leaving plenty of slack for any sort of modifications. And this will be buttoned up in the future so that it's not hanging down. I then run the second line the exact same way. I'm going to be using Arduino Nanos for a lot of the Arduino systems on the layout. And I'm using these Arduino Nano shields with terminal strips on them to make it easier to wire everything up. I line the shields up with the bottom of the piece of wood so that they're easier to access in the future, and then I used a few small nails to secure them in place. I installed a couple of these around the layout, as well as mounting the DCC++ base station. Alright, we got the wiring base for the DCC system, along with the foundation for some of our signals and crossings and stuff like that, as well as putting the DCC system in. But now we're going to turn our attention to the actual powering of the layout. Now, I have actually been giving some thought to this, and I want this to be kind of an atypical layout. I want to have a lot of fun. I want to have a lot of switches to throw and just feel like I'm powering up something really, really cool. So I went around Home Depot and I actually found this light switch cover that kind of looks like a master big on-off switch. And I want to wire that into my layout to be the master power that it turns on. So what I did was I grabbed some 14 gauge wire with grounded and I grabbed some DIY plug adapters right here and we're gonna make that happen. 
I started by attaching the box for the switch. Now this is a common switch. It's the same kind you can find in your walls for all the light switches and plugs in your house. After punching a couple holes in it, I ran the 14 gauge wire through. I then stripped the wire to reveal the three wires underneath and cut the black wire. I then proceeded to strip both sides of the cut that I had made and I attached the stripped ends to the light switch. I then screwed the switch into the box that I installed and then attached the super cool cover that I really like. Next was each end of the wire. I'm essentially making this into an extension cord. I stripped off the ends of the wire so that I could install them in the little terminals in the plug cover. I made a male end on one side and a female end on the other. Okay, so we have everything wired up and I currently have the plug plugged into my, one of my video lights right over here. So I've got the on off switch in the off position. So let's go ahead and throw it to the on position. And look at that, the light comes on. Finally, I installed a power strip and some cable clips for future wire routing. Oh, that was a lot of work, but that's the base of the power systems that are going to be going on the layout. So what we have here is, of course, we have our master on off switch that we created and wired up. It's attached to a power bar right here. We have our DCC plus plus system and we have the DCC bus line run. We also have cable clips all the way around. So we'll be able to run different wires and we have these little Arduino nano shields where we can pop Arduino nanos on and be able to wire up our different control systems. So that's it for the base of the wiring. So that's it for this week, guys. Next week, we're going to be doing layout design with SCARM. We're gonna be designing a layout for this particular setup, and I'm gonna show you what goes through my head with layout design. So if you haven't already, go and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that bell icon so you don't miss that update and any other updates, plus so that you're eligible for the 5,000 subscriber contest. Until next time, I'm Jimmy from the DIY and Digital. Happy railroading. <laughs>